Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. I had to check and see if I was on. <laughs> but anyway, uh, if you like, click the like button. If you like to subscribe, please subscribe. And let's get started on this, if I can read my writing, as you all know. <laughs> okay. The WEF, World Economic Founder. Uh, Russia and China are fighting each other while each tries to sink the U.S. government dollars. Gold and silver will help protect your wealth. It's something to think about if you're an investor, if you've got the finances to invest. Yes, it is something to think about. Uh, there is a man uh, that did a YouTube uh, video on another channel with someone and uh, you can email him and it's just info at nilesfranklin.com that's all I have right here um, for to get a hold of him but I'm sure if you type that much in you will get to his uh, his way and uh, he's an investor takes care of investments and he sounds very, very honest, and he was on a very good channel, YouTube channel here. And um, he will give you the information that you need for the best prices in this country, guaranteed. The World Economic Forum is infiltrating NATO countries' leadership in order to take down the U.S. and ensure that elites remain in power. Russia and China are trying to wall themselves off from the, the something, if the WEF is successful, while at the same time building bricks, trying to de-dollarize and take down the U.S. dollar, hegemony, and position. That don't sound too good to me, even though I can't read my writing. Yeah, it's not good. They're trying to take us down. Oh, my goodness. Sanctions, uh, at times, on the world events, and uh, shows how gold and silver will be the best protection against inflation and the dollar collapsing. Okay, next is Dr. Fusi is Fuji is stepping down from the government as the top infective disease chief medical advisor. Some like and some don't like. He served for decades. Leaving his post wasn't easy for him. He was under protection because of death threats. Ooh, I wouldn't want to have a death threat against me. So thank heavens he had some protection. He will still be active after retiring uh, from COVID and all the monkeypox. And he wants all to get back to normal. That's nice of him. Now as for our raises. Social Security, SSI, Disabled Vets, DDI. Whatever the government may give us, as we know, the taxpayers will be charged at higher taxes. Credit cards are killing people's financial situation. Richest country in the world and people are killing their credit cards. Just trying to keep their heads above the water. How sad. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Well, folks. Doesn't that sound like our government also? Yes, it does. In October, keep an eye on our cola rays. See if the numbers they have been talking about really will be what the government signs. I will not hold my breath. No, I won't. No. I feel that not just the tax pays get stung, taxpayers get stung, disabled and retirees, VA, DDI, DD, 
and uh, disabled, we will all end up in pay in some way or another. That's just understandable. You just think about it. If they raise our monthly benefits, somebody's going to be there with their hand out. They can't say that they won't. The government can't promise that. Because the government's got to get all this money back that Biden has sent to other countries. So yes, we all are going to pay. We're not freeloaders. No, they, some think that we are, just like, you know, the welfare program in, in the earlier, earlier days. Yeah, freeloaders. That's all they were, were freeloaders. But the mother stayed home with the children. So she could keep tabs on her kids. Some went out, maybe on a Saturday night, had a few drinks, maybe did a little dance. But oh my God, that was a sin. Oh, that was a naughty, naughty Yes, but yet the mother was home when the kids got home from school. Wouldn't that have made a change, don't you think, in today's drugs activities and the young people dying from overdoses? Babies being kidnapped? Children being kidnapped? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. No one... Uh, alive no matter what will pay the price I know that's what I wrote down somewhere <laughs> well I'm getting there folks just hang in there <laughs> it's going to get better <laughs> yeah in situations like we're living in right now and if we get that color raise we're all going to pay it back you can count on it Student loan forgiveness has to be paid back, too. Yeah, right. We all will pay. But if it relieves some of the pressure off of the young people and gets more to head for college, I wish them the best. And these raises in Social Security will be so nice. But who will get their hands in it and take almost half of it? Yeah, rent, utilities, groceries, gas, medication, and the raise in taxes. You better believe it. Yeah, taxes for the seniors that are getting a large amount a month, a month, and maybe are already paying taxes on what they get. So, what does that tell you? We all will be paying it back. Trust me. $1,488 to $1,816 a month. Woohoo! Yeah, baby, bring it on. Bring it on. Don't get your hopes up. Okay, if they would make sure we wouldn't lose a half to three-fourths of it, which one-third might fit in there and then three-fourths, but who knows? And the government says and does is up to them, not us. We all would be a very, very bunch of happy, happy people. Happy campers. Yeah. I used to love to camp. Can't do it no more. If we would be lucky enough to get these raises, they need to freeze the rent and on the disability people because my rent went up $40 and I can't complain because I probably got the cheapest rent in the whole wide world and I've got an awesome landlord yes I do but that $40 on top of what Medicare took off of my raise I was left with $7 that's all I got seven dollars but I was thankful I've repeated that in another video yes okay if they are boosting these payments everything will go up on us we all know that and if they raise our allotments when we will have to pay taxes because you know the government needs that money to make up for Biden's billions and billions and billions of dollars 
Go figure. I mean, we're not stupid. I hope they realize this. We know what's coming. It always does. Can't beat it. Can't run away from it. Not unless you take your last breath. God forbid. Just my thought. Two more years of Biden and all these billion dollars. Gotta turn my paper around. I'll write in the border too. <laughs> to pay back to the government and someone has to be responsible for it and possibly the the something or other detects. Don't worry, it is like tag. <laughs> yeah. Remember that game tag? That's what it is. Yeah, tag your it. Pay your taxes. No matter what you are, what category you run under or come under. Yeah, you're it. Pay your taxes. Alrighty. My, oh my, oh my. That is three. Now, I've got a page four here somewhere. Anyway, I think I did. Well, just hang in there. I'll find it. I wrote something on here. There we go, I guess. Alrighty. Poor Mr. Trump. The people are just really bad coming against him now. Really bad. He's a baby. They're treating him like a baby. For heaven's sakes. I have a lot to say about this one. So hang on. His raid on Mar-a-Lago, August 8th of 22. Yeah. People around Donald Trump betraying him, they found out there's lots of them that brought on this raid, stabbing him in the back. And these papers that they're coming up with. They were mixed in with catalogs, calendars, this and that other, li like he was trying to hide them. Now, President Trump, to get to where he is today, he can't be stupid, can he? I mean, for God's sake, who would separate those documents, stick them in between papers and magazines, and this and that, thinking that they would never be discovered? Do you think Trump is really that stupid? I mean, he built an empire. You can't be stupid to build an empire. So he would not have done that. In my book, in my thoughts, he wouldn't have done that. That's stupid. I'm not smart. I'd have never done that if I'd have had something important. He's an organizer. You have to organize a business to make a business grow. <sighs> oh, well, don't look at me because I'm not organized. But anyway, think about it. Now, why would he do that? Who would do that? Unless they were trying to trap him. Now, I'm sure he's taken many vacations from his Mar-a-Lago home. I'm, I'm pretty sure about that. So anybody could have gotten that house. Anybody could have strewed those documents any way they wanted to. Then they come back and they wait for the right time. Then the raid happens. I could be way off base. I'm not gonna say this is true. It's just my thinking because as far as he's gotten in his life, from coming to be a poor boy, it don't make sense to me. Does it to you? I don't know. Taking those documents he knew he shouldn't have taken. There's another problem in my head. Why would he do that? 
He knew he knew he shouldn't do that. So why did he do that? What is the reason? And I think I repeated this in another video of mine that um, it it just don't make sense why he would do that. Now, they asked him to turn over a lot of documents, and he did. Thousands. He said, if you need more, ask me. I will give them to you. Hmm. My goodness. Now, the news reporters and uh, the government uh, White House and those in the back, might say in the back rooms, they're not giving out a lot of information. No. They're keeping it very, very secret. Is it because they really want to nail him? Or they just don't want to be found guilty? Who knows? Who knows? They've held back a lot. Yep, Justice Department is very secretive here. Now, does he, President Trump, vice or pre-president, I should say, have the right to disclassify those documents? Now, a lot of those documents that he's supposed to have taken, he declassified them. Now, did he do this in front of office people? Can he prove it? Is there someone that can testify, yes, he did declassify those documents? They better step forward. Because I'll tell you what, they're just, they're pushing him right down. I read a comment on a deal uh, where they said something about is something about if the man's digging the hole, you don't need to hand him the shovel. In other words, he'll just fall right in it. You know, he's digging it. Why would he dig it? <laughs> or don't take his shovel, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I had a chuckle at that one. I really did. But this seems like a carnival of merry-go-rounds, pony rides, you know, let's get what we can get against him. We don't want him as president because he protects the American people. And we're in with China and Japan and Iran and Iraq and whatever else country. There is four countries against the United States of America. I don't know if y'all knew that or not. But yeah, there's four. There could be five by now. I haven't looked it up. I, that's my next subject. I will see if I can get some information about that. Yes, there is four or five countries against us. And you know what? There was a comment made there wasn't a war when Trump was president. And look at us now. What does that tell you? Come on, people. I mean, good gravy. And was Trump sending billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars to other countries before he took care of us? Think about that for a while. Well, I guess that's about it. I got on a new pair of glasses and that's making it really hard for me to see anything. Now, I've got some new glasses coming on Tuesday. They're anti-glare. And oh, I am so praying that they will take the glare off of my camera. Oh, I hope so. Off of my glasses. They're anti-glare. And they were a very reasonable price. I could afford them. <laughs> Otherwise, you can't afford them. <laughs> really. I think I paid $9. Yeah, and I get five of them. Different colored frames and everything. I'm excited. I really, you don't know how excited I am. <laughs> Maybe I can even read my writing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Why can't Biden be a little bit more compliant with the Republicans? I mean, he's just all 
hell-bent for election against Republicans. Aren't we supposed to be getting along? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. He's driving our countries apart. That's it in a nutshell, people. That's it in a nutshell. Well, God bless everybody. Keep the faith. Stay strong. And um, let me repeat, if you have the money to invest and would like to invest, let me find my paper and I'll repeat that right quick. And write it down. And uh, there's no way I could invest. <laughs> I have $30 left on my paycheck every month. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I couldn't invest in toilet paper, <laughs> let alone anything else. Uh, let's see, where am I here? Let me find page one. Yeah. Info, and it's got, well, no, it don't, because I put that there. But info at Miles Franklin. It's Miles or Niles, but I think it's MilesFranklin.com. You should be able to reach that website. And he's awesome. Yeah, he's awesome. I listened to him. Yes, I did. For, oh my goodness, a long time. Yes. And uh, he's good. He's got a company. They're fair. And I think... You know, if you want to invest, you have a little bit of money to invest. He sounds like he would be okay. All right. Well, that's it for me. I'm going to say good night. God bless. Stay safe. Stay away from monkey pox. You know? <laughs> but it's not funny anymore because they say it is, is public wide now. And it is growing. Yes. So they've got vaccines vaccines out for it I guess but um, I, I stay home I don't leave my home and so uh, just be safe that's it for now bye